The first step in developing your product is schematic entry. With Allegro System Capture, you can easily convert your concept into a functional circuit using multiple wiring techniques. After placing all the parts in your schematic, the next step is to connect the components by drawing wires and buses. Select the Draw Wire command from the toolbar and click on the pins on the components you're connecting. You can also make non-orthogonal connections between pins by pressing the Shift key while using the Draw Wire command. After making connections, to exit the command, right-click on the canvas and select Done. You can change the default net name and control its visibility from the Properties panel. Toggle Net Name Visibility by clicking on the eye icon. Changes will be reflected dynamically on the schematic. Similarly, you can draw a bus on the canvas. A bus is a group of similar signals representing a bit vector. It's more convenient and efficient to draw a single bus than drawing and labeling each individual signal. In this circuit, we will make a memory bus for making connections between memory connectors and the memory. Select the Draw Bus command from the toolbar and left-click on the canvas to draw the bus. Once you are done, right-click and select Done from the pop-up menu. In the Properties panel, change the bus name to MEM0-29. to The bit range will be updated automatically. With System Capture, you can make connections to the bus by either tapping out bits from the bus or by drawing stubs from the IC pins. To tap out bits from the bus, right-click on the bus and select Draw Multiple Bits. In the Draw Multiple Bits dialog box, you can either enter the start bit and end bit for the bus and change step and grid spacing if required. If you are making bits on the selected bus, uncheck the Draw with Bus option and click OK. Bit lines will be attached to the cursor, and now you can place them over the bus line. Another way to make bus connections is by drawing stubs. Instead of drawing and naming each net from the IC pins, you can efficiently place wires on all unconnected pins. Select the component, then right-click and select Draw Stubs from the pop-up menu. Choose how you want to name the nets, and finally select all the wire stubs and drag and drop them on the bus. Your design isn't complete until everything is connected. Particularly in large designs, it's dangerously easy to overlook an unconnected net. With Allegro System Capture, you can easily locate and highlight the unconnected nets using hotspots. To enable hotspots, go to the Edit menu and select Preferences. Turn on Display Hotspots for unconnected nets and click OK. You can define differential pairs within the schematic itself and transfer the information to Layout through Netlist, greatly reducing the risk of errors in board layout. Select the inverting and non-inverting signals on the canvas. Right-click and select Assign Diff Pair. You can edit the name if you want, or use the default. With Allegro System Capture, it's fast and easy to connect symbols on your schematic. 